So I had a letter from a lady uh, that watches Life Talk. She says, Dear Mr. Crutcher, why aren't you exposing sex education in Catholic and Christian schools? No one can die as a root cause of abortion. Um, and she's right. Uh, and we have talked about this. She, she may be a, a fairly new subscriber or something, but we've talked about this in the past. And there's two things that are happening with, with Christian schools as it regards this issue that I think we need to be aware of. And, and these are both things that, again, we've talked about extensively in the past. One of them is that some Christian schools and even Catholic schools, and I'll give you an example of this in a minute, are getting sucked into letting Planned Parenthood come in yeah. and, and conduct their... their um, condoms on bananas. And, well, the whole thing. And, and if you want to see how outrageous this gets to be, a few years back I was asked to do a speech for uh, a group down in Florida and when I get there, they're all up in arms about a, a something that's happened recently there. That it's an ongoing problem, and they brought me up to date on it. First off, the local um, bishop of their diocese had been given Planned Parenthood's Man of the Year Award and had gone and accepted it. But one of the reasons that he would been given this, they had allowed, the, the diocese there had allowed um, Planned Parenthood to come in and put on their sex education. They became the one that the diocese turned over for all their Catholic schools their sex education uh, to. So Planned Parenthood had come in. Well, now you have all these Catholic parents that are saying, I don't want my child in that. Mm -hmm. The bishop ruled that the Catholic parents could not opt their children out of the Planned Parenthood sex education. Huh. These were Catholic parents, had their children in a Catholic school who had to take them out of that school and put them in a public school because the public school would allow them to opt out of the Planned Parenthood sex education. So Planned Parenthood is going into a public sure. school here um, a private Catholic school over here, the same people, and the Catholic school would not allow them to opt out of it, but the public school would. I mean, it, this is the sort of things that are going on. It's, it's kind of like what they were trying to do with African-American ministers. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the quote that you use when we talk about right. Mahafa, you know, let's get a couple of pastors who can sell this, and it's, it's exactly what they're doing with right. the, with they're the in bishop. Contest. They gave him this award, Right. And then, well, and by the way, why did the Catholic, I can say that the public school would have Planned Parenthood in, but why is the Catholic school even having Planned Parenthood well, there they to start be. with? They shouldn't be. See, see, my suspicion is that they have somebody in the Catholic hierarchy that shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Right. Literally. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, they really shouldn't be there. And anytime you have a predator in a key position, you need to get rid of the predator. Yes. All, they have, all the Catholic Church has to do is realize who invited Planned Parenthood in there. And that person that's the one that's go. needs to be excommunicated, right. kicked out of the hockey, mm -hmm. the right. whole works. Right, exactly. I'm serious. But I got this, solutions today. And by the way, <laughs> <laughs> all right. but, and, and let's make it clear, this is happening at Christian schools all over the country, not just Catholic schools. Mm -hmm. All kinds of Christian schools are doing these exact same things. And, and, and for Christian schools, Mark, is is even, Bible says train up a child and wait. Now, that's, that's a mandate mm -hmm. to the Christian community. Not if we fail, Somebody's going to have to answer God for this mess. Right. And, and I am glad for those parents that did pull the child out, but I still say, um, I, I, I am concerned that we, we, we're getting to the point where we are tolerating key people making bad decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think it's part of a larger problem within the Christian community as a whole that we do not recognize evil. Okay, there's not a hell, there's not a devil, and there's not evil because we're all just nice. Can't we all just get along? You know the Rodney right. King quote. Right. Yeah, yeah. There isn't an evil, but evil exists and it permeates every aspect of our lives, our schools, uh, it's television, entertainment, well, everywhere. That's what we see in, in you know, popular modern Christianity. These, right. these speakers that come yes. out and talk about living your best life, and they're completely, you know where I'm going. Your best life today. <laughs> yeah, your best life ever. <laughs> but they completely fail to talk about that there are evil forces in this world, and, and there is a hell. And they want to kill children, yeah. and yeah. they want to mm -hmm. infect us, and they want to steal our Mm -hmm. Grace and joy, and but when accepted. the church quit speaking about sin and quit quit speaking yeah, about evil, right. then, that's you, right. then you then you set this thing up. Correct. And, and the, the church is brought into this '60s philosophy. I'm okay. You're okay. You know, you whatever you want to do. If you're not with the one you love, love the one you're with, yeah, and, yeah. and all that. Feels good doing it. Right, and all that nonsense. Yeah. The church is bought into all that stuff, yeah. and uh, yeah. these are the results of it.